Today, we're talking about the common six mistakes people make when they froth milk. So let's get straight into it. The first one is to know that when steam cools, it's gonna turn back into water up in the steam tap and you have to purge that water. If you don't, all you're doing is adding water to your milk and it's really gonna de deteriorate the quality of your foam. So just to show you here how much water can actually end up in your steamer, there is heaps, okay? And that was only um, off for a few seconds. So you have to purge your steamer, grab your cloth, pop it in your tray, give it a really good squirt and get that water out then you can start to steam. On the other side, once you've finished your actual frothing, make sure you do give that a great wipe and another squirt, because it will actually suck up the milk, and that will only block up the tips for next time. Now, the second tip is not turning the steam on to get the full pressure. And I'll show you what I mean. A lot of people think that they need to be gentle with the steam wand and just sort of start to ease it on and you know, try and get something to happen, but you don't. Just use all the power you've got, straight up. And you can hear that that doesn't make that squealing noise. So really slow, it's not gonna get a spin, and it's not gonna allow you to get a consistent um, hiss on the top of that surface of the milk. So it's all or nothing with that steamer. Now for the third mistake, it's moving the jug around way too much. People sort of get it in here and they tend to move it around a lot, right? And up and down, and, and you can't get a really good hiss. You need to get it locked in here, keeping it steady and getting a really good um, cyclone sort of effect happening in that jug. So less is more when you're trying to steam. You just want to keep that vortex happening the whole time. So you don't need to go up and down, don't need to move it around, just find that perfect location and stay there. Once you've got it, just lower the milk a little bit to get a hiss, and then raise it back up to take the hiss away. It's literally one centimeter that you're sliding that jug down or up the steam wand. And you'll note from my first tip there about getting the water um, out, you can see if we do give that a squirt afterwards, there's milk that's come out, we just missed it, but there's milk everywhere, and that's what's gonna affect the steamer for the next one. So that was a good chance to double back to that first tip. Number four is the screech. Now, how do you get it? It's because this tip is sitting on the bottom of the jug. So just lower the jug and the tip will end up in the liquid. And the other one is if this is right up against the edge of the jug, it's gonna screech away as well. So just move it off a little bit, about a centimeter, and that will stop completely. Then you've just gotta allocate some froth because when you're getting screech, there is actually no foam in that jug. So then just lower it to get a little bit of a hiss on the surface and that screech will stop instantly. Number five is just too much air, getting way too much foam. So literally just trying to get heaps of hiss and getting it all the way constantly. It'll just separate. It's really simple. You just got way too much foam in a jug. You've overstretched that milk. So knowing how much milk you start with and how much you actually want to froth for the exact cup you want, whether it's a cappuccino, a latte, or a flat white, only get the right amount of foam. If you've got something like this, it becomes this big solid mass, and you can't do anything with it. So don't overstretch your milk. Don't get a really loud hiss. Get a constant little hiss. You don't want to over froth your milk. It's a big mistake. You can't pour anything. It just comes out like a big blob. So my final tip is too hot. Now, we recommend to froth milk up to 65 degrees. If you like it a bit sweeter, go a little bit cooler. If you're gonna to get to 70, 80, 90 degrees, you're basically separating the foam you've got, and it will just be this huge fat marshmallow on the top, and there is nothing you can do about it. So if you're just gonna keep heating it, you can see what happens, watch this. It actually just totally separates and overrides. It just takes that foam and gets rid of it. That's what I used to do 20 years ago, making cappuccinos. That's how you got awesome foam. So we don't wanna go super hot. Just separates the foam from the milk and it stinks. Ooh, don't do that. So there you go. There's my six tips to fix your milk issues when frothing. Hope that's helped you. If you've got any other tips, leave a comment below. We'd love to share that with everyone. Um, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope this has helped you. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. We really appreciate your support in this channel. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.